All right. Well, we, we got a bunch of people in here, so let's get started. Uh, what's up, Degenerate Nation? Welcome to Stump the Stuck, the sports trivia game where you can win my money. I'm Stucky, and joining me today is our defending champion from last week, Mr. Matt Moore, who defeated uh, and unseated Justin Fan in the NBA week. This is an MLB week, so we bring on Sean Zarillo, the challenger. And I agree, I don't play favorites. I do craft the questions based on the contestants. So they will be a very easy set, relatively speaking, today. Sean hinted at a potential you know, contestant next, which will be on Thursday night, I believe. That could, it's not guaranteed, that could potentially be Darren Ravel. So I would like to see Sean Zarillo come on to just beat Darren down into the ground. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we have to get through today first. You guys, Matt, you played Sean. You've watched. You guys know how it works. There's 10 questions. Uh, there's three different rounds. The first round, you get three questions each, 20 seconds apiece. Um, you know, if the person, if you don't know the question, you don't know the question. If you repeat, you can't come up with anything. The other person will actually have a chance to steal in the first round. First question worth one, second, two, third, three. The second round, which is most people's favorites, the over-under, I'll say something like, how many yards did Tom Brady throw for last year? You'll write down your answer. We'll reveal at the same time. Whoever's closer will get that point, one, two, and three. Again, it's the question value. In the second round, then the third value, you're going to go back and forth in one question, usually 15 to 30 potential answers. That's worth five points. Sounds complicated. It's really not. Uh, let's get right into it. Matt, you are the defending champ. It's MLB week. Would you like to start it off? Would you like to try and gather yourself here and go second? Where do you want to start or not? Uh, I'll take the ball. I'll, I'll go. I'll go first. All right. Um, first question for one point to Mr. Matt Moore. This former Padres closer became the first pitcher in Major League Baseball history to reach 500 saves. 20 seconds on the clock. First, Padres pitcher, first to ever reach 500 saves. 20 seconds on the clock. Ten seconds. Pass. Pass. I mean, you can't pass, so you don't have an answer. Um, there's, you can't, there's no teammates here. This is not baseball. This is you're on the mound by yourself. This is baseball week. Uh, this is not basketball week. Zerillo? Yes, yeyeah, Stucky, I heard you playing some music. You better change it to ACDC because I hear Hell's Bells, Trevor Hoffman. That is correct. Uh, now that you hear that name, Matt, I'm trying to gauge where you're at here uh, in baseball trivia. Now that you hear that name, do you know that name? Should you have known that what, that question? Yeah, I should have. I should have known that. I did not, and I should have known that. That's where we are. Okay, but no, that did that did that come up in your research over the past couple of days, Trevor Hoffman? No, it did not. Okay, so he wasn't fresh of mind. All right, so let's move on to question two. Uh, the first for Zerol. This is worth one point. Now, Zerol, I will say, even if you have a big lead in this, points do matter. So when you're you know playing someone that's not a sports expert, you do want to blow them out because total points are gonna what gets you into the championship round, uh, the most amount of points you're going to face off against me. So take no mercy. Um, I think Friedman lost 21 to two to fan um, in NBA week. All right. So question two, what former Dodgers closer set a major league record with 55 con consecutive save opportunities in 2003? You know, it might've been the steroids, but Eric Gagne was the guy. Eric Gagne, and interestingly enough, in 2003, he bl actually blew a save in the All-Star game, even though he converted 55 consecutive um, and won MVP. I don't think we're going to be needing the music very often for Zerillo's turns, but the questions do get a little tougher. Um, but we're going to go back to – it's 2 nothing Zerillo. We're going to go back to Moore for his second question worth two points. Mr. Moore, this former White Sox – Hall of Fame first baseman became the first player in Major League history to score 100 runs, drive in 100, and hit 20 plus home runs in seven consecutive seasons. 20 seconds on the clock. White Sox Hall of Fame first baseman became the first in MLB history. 100 runs, 100 RBIs, 20 plus homers, seven straight seasons. Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas is correct. 
Just some more. You're on the board. That has to feel good. That has to feel good to get on the board. It's now two to two. We're going to Zerillo. So I told you the questions are not going to be impossible when we don't have a sports expert on um, for the first episode of the week. Zerillo, your second question. The score is two to two. This is worth two points. In 2002, this Indians Hall of Fame slugger hit a career high 52 home runs. That'd be Jim Tomac. That is correct. Mr. Moore, did you know that answer? No. Okay. All right. Well, you're on the board. It's four to two. You have a shot. You what? I tied Friedman. I'm good. Tied Friedman. I'm good. You tied Friedman. Look, once you get to the Hall of Fame round, there's a lot more variance. I mean, the over under round, maybe you can get lucky. But it's four two. We are moving on to Mr. Moore for his third question. In 2006, this is worth three points. In 2006, the Giants awarded the longest contract ever to a pitcher when they inked this 28-year-old lefty to a seven-year deal. 20 seconds on the clock. Giants, 2006, seven-year deal. Left-handed 28-year-old pitcher was the largest deal for a pitcher ever at the time. Oh, this because I yelled about it in a bar for like three hours. I need an answer now. I don't have it. This is real for the steal. Can you repeat the question quick? It was Giants sure. 2000. Sure. 2006, the Giants awarded the largest contract ever to a pitcher when they inked this 28-year-old lefty to a seven-year deal. Three seconds. Two, one. I'm going to say Baumgartner, but it's too early. The correct answer is Barry Zito. Uh, Was that who you were yelling about, Matt? Yes, that was definitely who I was yelling about and could not remember because I was very drunk that night. All right. Well, it's still four to two. So you're going to have a shot, at least in the over-under round. But Zerillo will have a shot to add three more points to the lead here. In 2006, we're going back to 2006 here. It's going to be a theme throughout the show. I'm not sure what each of you were doing in 2006. But uh, 2006, what Nationals player became the first in Major League history to notch 40 homers, 40 steals, and 40 doubles in the same season? 20 seconds on the clock. Alfonso Soriano. That is correct. He missed uh, 40-40 seasons about twice, too. Guy was an yeah. absolute stud. Yeah, a friend of mine was actually um I'm not sure if he was married, if I should be saying this. A friend of mine, like a girlfriend of mine, was actually like seeing him. Well, I was in college at the time in, at, in DC when he was there. Um wow. so all right, yes, the correct answer is Alfonso Sorry, just an absolutely monster year. Uh, I remember he was on my fantasy team, it was just r- ridiculous. Um Zerillo leads seven to two. After the first round, we're going into the over-under round, which is worth six points. So if you get all three correct, you can take, Matt, you can take an 8-7 lead going into the final round. You really just want to be within five points on the final round to have a shot. Pretty simple. I'm going to say a question. You're going to write down the answer. Give you 20 seconds. You will reveal at the same time. Whoever's closest will get the points. The first question is worth one point. Very simple here. How many players are in the 500 home run club. How many players are in the 500 home run club? Matt Moore has his phone out to Google. 20 seconds on the clock. It's just notepad. It's just I'm messing with you. The honor system, I trust all of, all of the contestants I have on. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and reveal. Zerillo says 29. The correct answer is 27. What do you have there, Matt? I have 10. He had E1. 10. Okay. Um, 10 is not correct. Uh, Good guess, Zerillo. Um, (laughs) Don't play. That's – listen, the 10 is is an ominous sign because of something that's coming later, but um, more on that to come. It's now 8 to 2, Zerillo. The second question is worth two points. Uh, In 2006, the theme of the show today, Jason Giambi had an equal number of hits 
and RBIs in the same season. So this is a random one where you're going to have a shot. It's not like this is common knowledge. You can know where it's going to be around. 2006, Jason Jab had an equal number of hits and RBIs. How many of each? They're not the total, just how many of each. 20 seconds on the clock. Jason Giambi. Not Jeremy. Jason. Five seconds. Okay. Mr. Moore, I'm going to need an answer. The correct answer is 113. What do you have there, Matt? I had 89. 89. So you're within 24, and Zerillo has 124. He's within 11. Zerillo gets the points there. He takes a commanding 10-2 to lead. Now... Man, in order for you to have a shot in this game, you need this question. If not, we're just going to see how much Zarilla can run it up in the final round. Uh, the final question, worth three points in the over-under round. Hack Wilson holds the all-time single-season RBI mark with how many? Hack Wilson, all-time RBI. Single season is the record for most RBIs in a season. 20 seconds on the clock. All right, got your answers. Let's get the reveal. The correct answer. Do you have your answer, Matt? Yeah, it's 180. The correct Ooh, answer is close on one, guesses. The correct answer is 191, oh, which means Zerillo no. wins by one run batted in. The blind press is right move. Oh man. I think we might have, may have lost Mr. Moore. Um, he's back. That was mean. Look, that's a respectable guess. He lost by one stupid run batted in, one random hit throughout the season. Uh, Zero leads 13 to two. We're going to go on to the final round, which is worth five points. And the reason I was saying it was ominous that you only thought 10 people were in the 500 home run club because the question for the final round is you're going to go back and forth and name all of the players in the 500 <laughs> home run club. <laughs> um, so, Zero, you have the lead. Um, there are, as we know from a previous question, there are 27. Um, Zerillo, go ahead and, and start us off. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds is correct. 762. Mr. Moore. Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire is correct. 583. Mr. Zerillo. Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa is a correct 609. Mr. Moore. Albert Pujols? Albert Pujols is correct. 656. Mr. Zerillo. Go with Jim Tomei. Bring him up. Jim Tomei, that is correct. 612. Frank Thomas? Frank Thomas, the big hurt. That is correct with 521. Subtly try to tip Matt off that, that Frank might have also been in there. Um... Let's go with uh, Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox, that is correct. 534. Okay, now you're just like, you're Dion two-stepping on me, and I don't appreciate it, Zarello. I do not appreciate breaking out Jimmy Fox on me. Uh, who was who a good hit man person? Pass. Name the most famous baseball player you know that hasn't been said. Just play that game. All right, Babe Ruth? Yep. Babe Ruth, that is correct. See, that's all you have to do. 714, Mr. Zerillo. Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle is correct. 536. Mr. Moore, whenever yeah. we're playing a different game now for you. Most famous player you know. Lou Gehrig? Lou Gehrig is incorrect. Correct. Okay. Um, that's all right. That's not a bad guess. Um, Mr. Zerillo, to seal it, we just need one from you. Uh, Ted Williams. Ted Williams is correct. 521, the same as Frank Thomas. Uh, do you want to run off a couple, or do you want me to read off the ones you didn't get? Uh, I, was, I, was, I was running out on my list. Um, yeah, go for it. You go for it. All right, Zerillo won 18-2, to two, so you beat Friedman. Uh, here's who you guys missed. Hank Aaron. Um, 
So I'm surprised you got. We had Jimmy Fox for Hank Aaron, but Ernie Banks he barely made it. Five twelve. Ken Griffey Jr. Six thirty. Um, Reggie Jackson five sixty three. Harmon Killebrew five seventy three. Eddie Matthews five twelve. Willie Mays six sixty. Willie McCovey five twenty one. Eddie Murray five hundred four. David Ortiz five forty one. Mel Ott five eleven. Rafael Palmeira five sixty nine. Manny Ramirez five fifty five. Frank Robinson five eighty six. A Rod. 686, Mike Schmidt, 548, Gary Sheffield, 509. Questions are a lot harder than it seems. And a lot of them, once you hear them, you're like, oh, yeah. Um, especially when you're live playing a trivia show. But it's a great when we are allowed to go back to bars or just when you're hanging out with your friends, texting. Uh, if you trust them not to cheat, it's a good trivia question. So, Rillo, uh, well done. You got the the victory as expected. Matt, I thought it was a, a good showing. You got robbed on the the – by one RBI, it would have been a lot closer. Uh, but we will get Cirillo potentially against Darren Ravel, and I'll be rooting for another 18-2 to 2 type score. We will see. We'll be back Thursday night right around 8, 8.30 Eastern. Thanks for joining me both. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll catch you all next time. Cheers.